Hey there, how's it going? Lee Hayward here with another Ask Lee video Q&A. And this one is a good one for this situation that I'm in right now. I'm out for a mountain bike ride and I have a question here about cycling. Uh, this one was posted up on the Total Fitness Bodybuilding Facebook page from Jay. And he says that he used to be a long distance cyclist uh, training several hundred mile rides and he says that a year ago he gave up the bike and picked up weight training. But he says he missed the bike so much that he went out and bought a new bike just a few weeks ago. And now he's been doing some research on the topic and he says it seems that if I train on the bike like I did before that it won't be good for muscle building. And he wants to know my thoughts on the subject. Well, that's a great question because I have, uh, I guess, a passion for both cycling and for weight training. And I guess my true passion, my first passion, I should say, was cycling. I mean, as a kid, I spent a lot more time on the bike than I ever did in the gym weight training. But the good news is you can balance both weight training and cycling and kind of get the best of both worlds. Now, will you be able to train at the same level you were before, meaning going for 100 plus mile rides on your bike and still recover and train intensely in the gym? Probably not. I mean, that's pushing the limits of endurance. So you're going to have to scale back the cycling in order to allow adequate recovery from weight training. And that's just the way the body works. I mean, you can't go to the extremes in both directions, meaning you can't go to the extremes in building strength and muscle mass and also go to the extremes in terms of having uh, stamina and endurance. You kind of have to find a happy medium. And for general fitness, this is pretty easy to do to find this happy medium because I mean, most of us are not looking to be, you know, world champion cyclists or world champion bodybuilders. We just want to get in our personal best shape and kind of enjoy a general overall well-rounded fitness level. And that's what I'm doing myself. So I like to go to the gym and train in the gym for, you know, several hours a week. Plus, I like to get out on the bike for several hours each week. I mean, depending on the weather, if, if it's weather appropriate, I'll probably spend five to ten hours a week on my mountain bike and I love every minute of it. But I'll also, you know, want to incorporate weight training as well. So you kind of have to find that happy medium and if you're spending more time in the gym, then you'll have to scale back a little bit on the cycling. If you're pushing the cycling a little more, then you'll have to scale back some of the time in the gym. You have to find, you know, what your body can recover from and still, I guess, make progress in both goals in terms of your training and your cycling. But to answer the question, I mean, you can do both, but don't expect to reach the highest levels in either or. I mean, that's why you'll never see uh, a Mr. Olympia competitor, you know, getting on a bicycle and, go, and getting ready to do the Tour de France, and you're never going to see a Tour de France cyclist get ready to step on a bodybuilding stage. It's just not going to happen. Those are the extremes in both directions, but luckily, most people are not interested in that, and if you just want to have a well-rounded level of fitness, then you can incorporate both if you're smart about it. So that's my thought on it, and I'm, you know, I guess living proof of enjoying both weight training and cycling, and I think you can certainly do the same. So again, that's, that's my opinion. Hopefully this video helped shed some light on it, and my advice, get out there on the bike, enjoy it. I mean, if you love it, don't, don't neglect it. Enjoy it, live it up and also reap the benefits of weight training as well. So I guess it's a form of cross training, cycling and weight training. Anyway, there you go. Hopefully that helps, Jay. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, or feedback to this video, please feel free to post them in the comments section below, and I'll chat with you down there. And in the meantime, have yourself an awesome day, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Over now. And if you enjoyed this video, then you'll love my free bodybuilding tips email newsletter. Just head on over to my website at leehayward.com and enter your name and email address in the form, and I'll personally keep you up to date with all my latest training and nutrition tips to help you build muscle and burn body fat. Again, this is totally free of charge. All you have to do is head on over to my website, leehayward.com, for all the details.